In this video, you will learn the basics of assignment creation. To begin, open the assignments page. The first step in assignment creation is to create an assignment shell. To do that, click the plus icon in the assignment group header, or on the sidebar, choose the assignment group in the dropdown, and then click the add assignment link. Add the assignment name, due date, point value, and assignment type, which include assignments, discussions, or quizzes. Since we want the students to complete a basic assignment or turn in some document, we are going to select the assignment type here. You can edit the assignment details by clicking More Options, but for now, just click Update to save the newly created assignment shell. You can see how it might be helpful to create a shell to hold the place for an assignment in your course, but fill in the assignment details later when you have more information or more time. Now that the shell is created and saved, we will go in and edit the assignment details by clicking the assignment name and then clicking the Edit button. Here you can edit the assignment name. Below that, you have the Rich Content Editor as well as the Content Selector on the sidebar where you can add instructions or content your students might need to complete the assignment. Under the Rich Content Editor, you have some basic options, points, due date, and assignment group, which were already added when creating the assignment shell, but they can be changed here. After editing your basic options, click the Show Advanced Options link to open additional options. The first advanced option is Grading Type. You can select Percentage, Complete or Incomplete, Points, Letter Grade, or Not Graded Types. Next, you can change the submission type. The options for submission type are No Submission, Online, On Paper, or External Tool. If you select the online submission type, some other checkboxes will appear, allowing you to select which online submissions will be allowed, including text entry, URL, media recordings, or file uploads. If you select the file uploads option, yet another checkbox will appear, allowing you to restrict which file types can be uploaded. You also have the option to make this a group assignment. By checking this box, you can assign which group set to add the assignment to. You can also select whether to grade students individually or as a group. You can even create a new group on the fly by selecting New Group Category in the dropdown. The Peer Review option comes next. By checking this box, you have the option of manually or automatically assigning students for peer reviews. The last advanced option is Multiple or Varied Due Dates. This allows you to assign different due dates to various sections of your course. Do note, however, that sections need to be created before adding varied due dates. To add the varied due dates, select one section in the dropdown and fill out the due date and availability dates. Then click the Add Due Date button to add additional due dates for other sections or everyone else. After making all these changes, you have the option of notifying users of assignment changes by clicking this checkbox. Make sure you update your assignment to save all the changes. If you didn't assign a due date for every section, you will see a warning message reminding you to add due dates to all sections. You can click the No Due Date button if you don't want to add due dates to the other sections, or click the Go Back button to go back and add due dates. You will then be taken to the Saved Assignments page. You've now completed this tutorial video on assignment creation. For additional information on this or any other topic about Canvas, just visit help.instructure.com. Also, if you have any feedback about this video, please share your thoughts at instructure.com slash video survey.